What would you say to someone who has someone in their life who uses um, sarcasm to hide, who uses sarcasm to avoid intimacy? What advice would you have for that person? Well, that other person's broken and hiding something and got deep pain. And so I challenge you to go to them and say, I love you unconditionally and get to know that story. I have someone in my men's forum. I have a men's forum that I love. These guys I love. I got a guy in my forum that loves more than anything. Amazing husband, father. Has sarcasm to hide a lot of it. And he, I know there's a story behind it, and I'll find out that story. You just got to keep loving us. Yeah, keep loving them. They're yeah. beautiful people. they just hiding it. They get the mask. Yeah. You know, everyone hides things. Like my insecurity, I hit it with hard work. I just work. I just work. I work. I, I hit it. But it, 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 it's a journey. Yeah. I just had a retreat this weekend called the Tommy Spaulding um, Man of Faith Retreat. Had like 28 guys, CEOs from all over the country, high level CEOs, come in for the weekend and really learn about how to be a heartland leader. One of the CEOs, a guy named Jax McConnell, runs an amazing bank in Georgia, one of the most successful small banks in the country. He's been to a lot of my retreats. He's been to my marriage retreat. His daughters have done my leadership retreat. So he's bought in, he's bought books. I've spoken to his team. So he knows my heart. The last exercise of the weekend was just a couple of days ago. I asked all the, all the guys to write a love letter you know, to their, to their wives. Because the night before I had surprise love letters. I contacted all their wives, surprised them with the love letter from their wife. So they got the love letter, got to feel that love. And I wanted them to return it. But Jackson didn't write a love letter to his wife probably because he's been to my retreat a bunch of times, so he's done it before, but he wrote the love letter to me. Just, I just got this letter on Sunday, today is Tuesday. So I'm on the plane right, reading this three page handwritten letter. And he basically says to me, Tommy, I bought your books, I've had you speak, it changed my wife's life, my kids' lives, my life, and I, I love you. But do you love yourself? Mm. I just watch you and you give and you give, and you're on the road 250 days a year. You tell the story about the stadium, all these people, 80,000 people, but I'm concerned about the four people, your wife and your children. They'll be sitting right there front and center stage. You don't you spend enough time with them. Yeah. But he really challenged me, do you love yourself? And what are you hiding? And I just, I just wept. And, and this was a couple of days ago. Yeah. Because the reality is, is maybe I don't. Because I had this teacher in high school named Mrs. Dizini. She was my, my, uh, 10th grade typing teacher. And I told her I wanted to go to college and law school and change the world. And she said I was stupid. She literally said those words. You're stupid. And there's not a college in America that will, that will, that will accept you. Mm. And I just spent my life proving to the world that I'm not stupid. And no amount of books or no amount of houses or no amount of money I have in a bank account. And I just go and charge and charge and charge until I got that letter on Sunday. I realized I'm still chasing something that I'll never get. Uh, I, I'm just trying to prove to the world that I'm not stupid and it's time to stop and give my worth to God. Yeah. Only God. Yeah. It's just, so my answer to my question back to you is I teach this stuff. I read books about this stuff and I'm learning this stuff. I just learned it on Sunday and we got to love ourselves yeah. to, to really, truly love other people. And the only one's going to love us unconditionally is Jesus Christ. 